I just wanted to share a quick trick with you guys that I've been using for a while. So obviously some parts you're still gonna need to use support, right? But this piece where it's so small, it's also kind of a nuisance to have to go and pick out the support on all of these. Now, of course, if you have a straight through hole like this, where it uh, starts out larger for a thread insert and then tapers up the bolt hole size, it just tapers, right? So you don't need support. Um, now, if you have stuff that's floating, of course, it's not gonna work. You're still gonna have to use support on that. So the trick with these, so you don't have to sit here with your pliers and then try and dig them out. And it's like, okay, this is $20 part, actually less than $20 part. So it, it takes a lot of time to go and try and get all those out. Of course, you can spend a bunch of time dialing in the support settings, but if you can get away with not using any support at all, then why do that? So right here, obviously you can see this is what the hole would normally look like with and without support. Now, if we come back over and I will turn off the layer height, you will see what my trick is. This one's still gonna show on its slice. You can see what it does is it bridges across first and then prints the circle out on top of that for the hole. So if we go back down, bridges those two lines across and then it prints everything else right on top. And pretty simple to do. If it's your own design, it's a lot easier, of course. So just go into this last sketch down here. And this was, I believe it was an M4 hole. Oh yeah, so I made it five millimeters, so there was clearance. So you just go and create a sketch there, a uh, center line, obviously, so you can mirror it. And then, yeah, I mean, you just set the distance. I usually have it just a slight overlap on this edge, or this one's about the center of the edge. And then, yeah, about half a millimeter so that it can detect that width of the nozzle and just runs across. So pretty simple trick. Show you what it looks like without the support in there. And right there you can see there's the little bridge going across and that holds everything so there's no need for support at all in there. And then I've been doing the same thing actually with some other parts that had a hex nut insert. You just got two little strands that go across and then that's enough to support the rest of it. The print settings to get that bridge right are actually a really important part of this. So the biggest things are going to be the speed. So you have to put these overhangs all down to 40 or 50. And that's probably the biggest thing just so it has time to cool. I am printing this in ABS and then obviously turn off supports and for the cooling, I just have cooling turn on right before that, lower the minimum print speeds and everything, and just turn up the overhang. 